How's it going guys? So my name is P017 or P017 and I wanted to bring you a pretty cool video today on this particular JVC CRT video monitor. Now this one in particular is a JVC TM A13SU 13 inch video monitor has a slot mask tube with about 320 TV lines of resolution if I remember correctly but it's extremely extremely detailed for this set. So this is an awesome budget set if you're looking for a video monitor. Alright, so one thing I did want to show about this set was just how nice it is. So if we look here closely in the picture, you can see just how detailed this video monitor is. Now in particular, this one does not have that much scan line gap, but that actually is to a benefit because this set plays 480i games really well as well as 240p. So it's an awesome set for something like that for both uh, anything from the Super Nintendo, Nintendo, to the PS2, GameCube, Xbox, anything you want to play on that sort. But overall, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the nice details about this. So down here, this is a TM-A13SU power with your A and B inputs. So your A input is your composite input. B input is both composite and S-video, which is awesome about this set. Over here, you have volume select as well as your menu, contrast, bright, chroma, and phase, which phase is just your tint. Now I'll go ahead and show you the menu up here. So this is how it looks like. This is what you get in your menu, your sharpness and your color system. Now this color system is actually your uh, selection between NTSC and PAL. So since this is set to auto, this will detect if you are running a PAL or an NTSC system, and it will adjust the color accordingly to that really awesome that this thing can support both NTSC and PAL systems. But one other thing I wanted to show you, if you press and hold menu while pressing phase right after it, you will actually get to the setup or service menu, which shows you your H position as well as your white balance and then whatever control lock is. So in terms of its adjustments, this is pretty much the only thing you can really do just from the service menu alone is the H position, uh, which kind of sucks, but it's okay because honestly, uh, for how good this tube looks and how already well adjusted this tube is it doesn't really matter that much so overall very nice last thing is down here you do get a mono speaker which is pretty handy now in terms of its uh, form factor and everything like that as you can see here this is not so much a cube but instead it looks more like a regular tv now this was basically just meant to be mounted on like a little flat panel and then just used as a security monitor uh, which is why it looks kind of like this, but overall it's really nice. This monitor is actually surprisingly portable. So your carrying handles, you have some right here and some right here. And it's a, it's a pretty light set overall, so you can actually carry this over to a friend's house or whatnot. Back here, so you can see this is the model, and then the manufacturer date down here, April 2005. Now they made these sets quite for a long time actually. I've seen some all the way in the very late 90s. Uh, all the way to 2006, because this is my second one that I've owned. Down here, you can see your two composite inputs, as well as your two composite outputs running through BNC. And then, of course, your S-Video input down here, which is really awesome. You also get two mono audio inputs for both line A and line B, as well as uh, mono audio out for both line A and line B as well. So overall, there's not too much in terms of its features or its design. It's a pretty simplistic video monitor overall, but in terms of its picture, it's super solid. So as we can zoom in here, you can see just how nice this picture is. Also, if you're wanting, uh, wondering about this game, this is Mystery Dungeon 2 Shiren the Wanderer. So this is made by the same people who made Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, hence the name. Uh, this game came out in 1995 for the Super Famicom, but was re-released for the Nintendo DS in, uh, I think, around 2010. So for those who like Mystery Dungeon games, this is definitely a fun one to try. Also, the DS version is in English, so if you, you can either do that or you can get a Japanese translated version on a flash cart and run it that way. But I have the actual game down here because that's just me. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on to 240p test suite so I can show you just how the screen looks overall and show you some of the details. All right, so as you can see, uh, getting a good close-up of 240p test suite. Like I said, this is running through S-Video on my Super Nintendo. 
And overall, this picture looks awesome just as it sits. So I'll go ahead and zoom in here on Octino just another time just to show you how it looks. So for 240p, the set is really, really awesome. I absolutely love the sharp edges and the detail that this level or that this set can output. For a budget video monitor, this thing really does beat a lot of CRT TVs already, even with only S video. Now, most people say, you know, you need RGB or component video to have the absolute best output. But I think, honestly, S-Video is a super, super, super good upgrade from Composite already. So that's why these sets are still really good, even without RGB. Now, in terms of that, you actually can probably mod this set for RGB. Uh, there is a jungle chip in there, and if I remember correctly, this does use analog uh, RGB that runs through it. So you can potentially tap into that signal and run it. But besides that, let's go ahead and show you the monoscope here. So in terms of its geometry, it's pretty solid. Uh, don't mind the fact that this is actually a little too well. It's kind of already pretty good as it is, uh, the way it sits. The only thing about it is there is a tiny bit of underscan in the horizontal sides, and unfortunately you can't change that. You also can't change the vertical size or position on the set either. Technically you can change the vertical position, however it's a switch on the very inside of the CRT. And there's only three settings that you can change it to, low, medium, and high. So this is set to, I believe, the medium setting. And even if it looks kind of like it's off, it's actually pretty solid for what it is. It's not too far up or down. Uh, in terms of grid here, same thing over here. It looks pretty solid as it is. Um, overall, the detail is surprisingly good for only having 320 lines of TV resolution. It can resolve the image really, really, really well. And that's also why I like this set quite a lot. And then the last thing here, I'll go to convergence. So convergence and focus on this set is surprisingly good. It doesn't really lose focus on any of the edges, and the convergence overall is pretty solid for what it is. I mean, yes, you do get a tiny, tiny bit of corner convergence loss on these sets, but that's pretty much with any set overall on most video monitors. And considering this one's a budget video monitor, this already does so much better than a lot of your consumer sets, especially with the focus loss issues that you get on these corners here. And, of course, the uh, misconvergence that you usually get at least in one corner, especially if you own a Sony. Now, in terms of anything else that we can look at, so we have a color here. Oh, well, wrong one. Um, color bars overall, so this has a very neutral color. No red push, nothing like that, so we're not dealing with anything too crazy on the NTSC side. Super, super good white, super, super good dim. Uh, overall, very neutral color. Uh, especially transitioning from dark to light. I really like that about this set. It's super, super nice and super accurate in terms of its color. Now, of course, last thing here, just showing you the scroll test here. Overall, really solid image. I absolutely love this image. Oh, my God. But overall, for 240p and, like I said, for 480i gaming as well, this set is awesome. And the only reason why it's really good for 480i so if you have listened to some of my previous videos where I talked about why video monitors are not good for 480i, uh, I may have mentioned in the video that there are some exceptions, and this is one of those exceptions. The reason why is because of the very thin scanline gap. It actually makes up for uh, the interlacing being more blended in than a lot of other sets, such as your Sony PVMs that have higher TV line counts overall, which increase the uh, width of the scanline gap which means that you can see the interlacing a lot easier. On this set, because there's not very much, you can't really see that, so it blends the image super nicely. And on top of the fact that this has really good sharp detail, it makes 480i images pop insanely good. So, if you're looking for something like this, for some reason, this friggin' budget monitor can beat out some Sony PVMs for 480i. Like, it's kind of crazy. So overall, that's pretty much all I have for this video. There's not too much to go about it. If you're looking for a budget set, this would be definitely one to consider, so don't skip out on it if you find one for a decent deal. There is one thing I actually will uh, remark about this set, though. This does have a brother that is slightly downgraded from this. I don't remember the name of it right now, but what I can tell you is, is if you look down here where it says A13SU, you will know that this is the correct set that you're looking for uh, if you see this. The other set that I mentioned uh, does not have a speaker, actually, so there is no speaker, and there's no audio uh, input for this, and on top of that, you also lose composite, or sorry, not composite, but S-video on the set, so you're only limited to composite. 
So just uh, keep in mind about those things when you're looking for this particular set. But besides that, that's pretty much all I got. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See if we can run this sucker through the algorithm so that more people can see this and get more aware of this video monitor. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.